manager of the two financial institutions. The acquisition of NIC Bank by CBA is estimated to be in billions of shillings. Take a look. Has announced that it had opened talks with rival NIC Group for a possible merger through a press statement released last evening. It stated that the boards of the two banks had initiated the merger. This joining of forces would create the third largest lender by assets. As per September earnings, the new entity will have 444.3 billion shillings in total assets. It would rank a third after KCB, whose earnings were reported as 684.1 billion shillings and equity, respectively, with 560.3 billion shillings, putting Cooperative Bank in position four with 404.1 billion shillings. Such a shake-up in top bank rankings was last seen about a decade ago when KCB and Equity edged out Barclays Bank of Kenya and Standard Chartered Bank Kenya to settle in the top two spots by all measures. The merger is expected to help CBA and NIC cut costs and boost margins. Additionally, the profitability of both has been much weaker compared to those of the top three lenders. The two boards will also decide who will run the merged entity. Finer details of the proposed merger, including valuation and the share swap ratios, are expected to emerge as the transaction progresses. Well, Ken Gishinga is here with us to first break down this and uh, provide some economic insight as uh, Kenya Com uh, Commercial Bank of Africa and NIC Group, of course, are talking off that merger. Welcome, Ken. I want you, of course, to give us some of your insights onto exactly what this would entail for the banking sector. I do know that this is one of the major shakeups we're seeing possibly in a decade. Thank you, Malika. Um, one of the talking points in the banking sector in Kenya is do we have too many banks because people look at Nigeria, it has about 25 banks. South Africa has about 20 banks. Morocco has about 19 banks. And all these are economies that are bigger than Kenya. So for Kenya to have 42 banks uh, means for a lot of people that we are an overbanked country in terms of numbers of banks. So I think the challenge in the business environment where raising deposits has been an issue is what's driving the mergers. And I think we're going to see a lot more mergers in the, in, the, in the course of the next three years, just driven by looking for better efficiencies, looking for lower costs in terms of manage operational costs. So I think this is something that we talked about about six months ago on this show and it's starting to happen. True, yes. We had talked about, of course, the banking sector and all of, all of the trends that, that, that are happening there. And these two merging, do you think that that's going to really up the competition when it comes to other banks, especially as it has been determined to come third place after this were to happen in terms of assets? It will, because after Chase Bank was collapsed about two years ago, there was something called the flight to safety, where a lot of the money was going towards the bigger banks and the smaller banks were being more affected. So I think for a CBA and IC merger, obviously they'll have a larger balance sheet of almost half a trillion shillings and obviously it will be means more stability and obviously it will be easier for them to raise deposits because at the end of the day banking is about trust and the perception that you're bigger uh, is almost telling that possibly it could be better. So, of course, the boards are yet to release exactly how the um, running is going to work and who's going to take uh, over more so uh, the larger chunk of the running, day-to-day -day running of uh, this merged uh, entity. But so far, you know, there have been a lot of uh, implications that it could be CBA taking majority of that. What do you think? I think it'll be a bit interesting because mm -hmm. these two banks are almost identical in terms of balance sheets, in terms of profitability. So typically there's no big brother, small brother mm -hmm. kind of feel that you see in, Ajam, in other mergers and acquisitions. I think by almost every statistic, they're almost identical. Their profitability is at 3.3 billion for CBA, 3.2 billion for NIC. So they're almost identical. So I expect a far more symmetrical type of uh, merger as opposed to an acquisition. Uh, and moving forward, I think these things take time. I think sometimes people saw that communication yesterday and they expect it to happen overnight. True. But the process of mergers and acquisitions could easily take a year. Okay, all right. Thank you, Ken. Of course, we're going to have you break down some of our major uh, stories in the world of business on Week in Perspective in just a little bit. But for now, we will uh, move on to our next story. But thank you so much for your insight on this particular uh, situation there. Thank you.
All right, and we will be keeping an eye, of course, on exactly how this particular expected merger plays out. But let's move on now. NG